Hello, Dirty Girl here. I'm at a different park today. It's a little tiny park, and um, I don't know much about it except that it caught my eye, and I'm tired of my old park, so we shall see what we find. I'll get back to you if I find anything cool. This is my first good signal of the day. I won't call it a good signal, actually. It's kind of a weird signal, but pretty sure there's something here. Oh. Well, oh, okay, it's a clad dime. Don't know what year, but. Okay, pull tab signal. It's not a pull tab. Wow. <laughs> That's interesting. Big hunk of brass, I guess, maybe? Maybe it's aluminum colored gold. I just dug up this thing. I guess it's a, um, maybe a faucet handle. It's a little tiny one. Hmm. Mystery signal of the day. That is your mystery signal of the day. <clears throat> okay, so this is a clad dime. Okay, 90% sure this is junk. Sometimes I can't help myself. Yep. Okay, this is a uh, penny dime signal, and it's out of the hole, and I think it's right here somewhere. Yep, I see it. Looks like it's a clad dime. Oop, I just saw it. Another dime. There it is. And it's another dime. Goodness. Lots of clad dimes. Get that better. Okay, got some kind of Penny dime thing here. Oh, I can see it. It's a penny, I think. Yep. Oh my god, I may have to faint. It's a wheat scent. Look at that. That was my first wheat scent in this park. I really thought this place was a complete wash, but yeah, maybe I'll keep trying. It's a 19. Um, 48, 48D, and it's in nice condition. You can see that. Hi, Dirty Girl here with just a quick postscript to this very short hunt. Um, this is my junk. That's an identifiable weird thing. That's an aluminum tubing painted to look like brass. That's a battery. That's can flaw bottle caps, a couple of pull tabs, and this is some better, sort of better stuff. That's uh, seven zinc pennies. That is three copper pennies. Here we go. Uh, this is six clad dimes. One of them, I think it's this one right here. This one right here is a 1965, which is just almost silver. Um, this is some kind of a valve 
handle thing. It's really heavy. I'm keeping it because I like the shape of it. Um, that's a nickel. That's my wheat penny. 1948 uh, D. 1948 D. Here's the back of it. And the lovely Long Beach Little League pin. <laughs> and I wanted to show you my new tool belt or metal detecting belt. This is it. It's got lots of pockets. It's got a nice brass fastener. But anyway, here's a little pocket where I put my camera remote control. This is my uh, battery pocket. There's where I have my pin pointer. Got some gloves. Look, I have gloves. Yay! Maybe I won't cut myself as much. I don't know what this pocket will be used for. Um, this is my trash pocket right here, and this is my treasure pocket right now. I put some Velcro on this so it would fasten a little better, but I'm not entirely happy with that, so I'm going to have some kind of zippered compartment in there. And this, I guess it's for hanging a hammer, but I just clip my keys to this. So, and then I think I'm going to put like a toothbrush in there maybe. Just the other thing. It's quite sturdy. I've uh, never seen anything quite this sturdy. And it's a little heavy and a little awkward, but I'm getting used to it. So, and it was a really reasonable price. There's the manufacturer. It's custom leather crafts, but it's not leather. Of course, it's canvas. And it only cost me about $15, so that was exciting. And I've used it a couple of times now. So far, so good.